I'm trying to balance all of this and I'm pretty sure something's gonna fall. But let's just see. I have hair back here, it's in a bun. Um, today's Friday, it is September 15th, I think. And I was gonna start a vlog this morning. I was gonna kinda take you guys along with me during my day and it's gonna be like fantastic. It wasn't a bad day. I'm gonna slip that in right there because it sounds like a preface to like, and then the day caught on fire and exploded. That's not what I mean. What I do mean is, um, my morning I kind of did not have enough time, I did not have the time I thought I was gonna have to sit and like start the vlog, so I was like, I'll start it after work. And um, then right after work, me and Dustin immediately like met in the parking lot of my work and went to get dinner. But let me tell you guys what's going on right now that I'm so frustrated about. I thought that was my camera falling. I'm so frustrated. So I ordered something from Vanity Planet and then I ordered my contacts from CBS. I've ordered one thing I think from Vanity Planet before and I didn't have any problems. Um, and I order from CBS all the time online and I never have any problems. So um, from Vanity Planet I got the little face brush that a lot of people use. I finally wanted to try that out so I got it and then like I said from CVS I figured out um, my contacts which I'll tell you guys that actually good story on a day maybe that it's not covered in bad news. So I got home tonight and I checked the tracking on both of them and they both said delivered in or at the mailbox. So I'm like dad did you guys happen to go get the mail today ever at all and he was like no we didn't. So I walked down to the mailbox, I opened the mailbox, and it's just letters. Like, not one box. And I was like, okay. <sighs> Panic. Because my contacts, I have an astigmatism, and um, they're expensive. So, and that little face brush is not super cheap, even with the discount code. So, I then went to my front porch, which we have this really pretty, like, um, it's all like stone so there's a front door but then there's like these little nooks on either side and then like the wall the rest of the walkway like the stairs and everything sometimes for some reason the male person puts it like in the nook on the end of the front porch like all these crazy places I looked all in our garage I looked the front porch I looked at the front door like I looked everywhere I possibly could think that for some reason they would have left it somewhere and nowhere so I know I'm probably overreacting a little bit but um I've had a long week <laughs> and I was looking forward to having fresh new contacts finally because I haven't been able to like drop a, over a hundred dollars for one box per eye lately um, and anyway so yeah I don't know where this is going now I'm just frustrated that it's not here and I feel like if it's at someone else's house I'm like I just don't feel like anyone is gonna be honest enough to to like bring it back over here. Not even like honest, it's just convenience. You know how if you get somebody else's mail you're just kind of like, eh, where are you? I don't know. We don't ever get anybody else's mail and the only person that we do, the like four numbers in our address are the exact same but the road is different but it's like, like as you pull out of my neighborhood that's his road so we sometimes get his but we always bring his to him so I don't know. I'm hoping that tomorrow morning someone wakes up and finds it but really my main concern too is like is just about the contacts which I had texted my dad at the beginning of the day and I was like can you please keep an eye out to see if those come today only because I didn't want them to be like sitting in the hot mailbox all day long um which probably they would have been fine but I'm like well geez who even knows where they are now I have one more day of work to get through and then the rest of the day tomorrow and then Sunday and then Monday I plan on snuggling up with a blanket, watching Halloween movies, and literally avoiding pretty much every person except for Dustin. Those are my plans. On a completely different note, I haven't shaved my armpits in a while, so no, they're okay. If you guys have ever heard of an at-home laser hair removal system called TRIA, I think it's what it's called, or TRIVA. Um, something like that. I think Ulta sells it and then they just have like their own little website but I originally thought when someone told me about it that it was like $200 and I was like man for $200 I'm getting it but then when I looked online it's more like $380 and I was very much trying to justify that purchase today not with my own money like I'm, I would buy it like tomorrow if I wanted it um, 
but like maybe I can save up or maybe I can ask for that like a collective gift from literally everyone for my birthday or something um, because uh, two weeks ago I let all of my chin hair grow out this is so personal and gross and stupid but I let all my chin hair grow out which you guys know or should know or maybe not know that I have PCOS so literally from right here to right here and then like right there to right there I grow a full-on man-like beard does not matter if I've like tried waxing it several times um, and I've tried just everything to get rid of it and so eventually like way back in high school I just started shaving it because it seemed like every single thing that I tried it was just back so fast or it didn't do anything and I know shaving like it's still back that fast but it's easy to get rid of that way so anyway about two weeks ago I let it grow out completely because I had the whole weekend like Saturday Sunday Monday or maybe even that Friday I had like a really long weekend I think it was for Labor Day and um I didn't see anybody Dustin was out of town so I like literally stayed in my room like a cave person let it grow out and I plucked every single individual hair my chin swelled up it was red it even bled in some places but let me tell you this if you've never plucked your chin hair and you've always shaved it and then you pluck it it's like a whole new world like I felt so like liberated and free for the fact that I didn't have to shave in the morning I didn't have to worry about at the end of the day like having a five o'clock shadow or like you can fill my stubble or whatever but now it's been like I said like two weeks and I'm like oh that feels really bad which it didn't feel super great and amazing it did the first day I did it but I could tell it was like already kind of the little hairs I couldn't get out were starting to come through and um, now the thing that made me notice and think about it was when I was doing my makeup today I put all my makeup on like normal and I was like man you can like kind of see the texture on my chin um, and this whole time you haven't been able to so I'm gonna go take all my makeup off and I'm gonna sit here and pluck for probably half an hour but the point is the laser hair removal that's so expensive I think that that is completely justified because pretty much one or two or three treatments of laser hair removal will cost the same amount as that thing almost and um I don't know I just think it's it's not a bad price for what it is I don't know what that system if you have to like re place any part of it you know how like if you have like a face brush you have to replace the little head on it the little scrubber I'm like surely there's some part of that that you have to like keep up with or maintain um but anyways if you guys have ever tried that let me know how you liked it um and if you thought it was worth it I read tons of reviews today of people that specifically said like I have PCOS my chin hair is crazy you need to get this so I think I'm gonna try to and then I thought like I if that worked out well I could be like doing my legs and not ever have to shave my legs I don't know okay. I'm gonna go take my makeup off I'm gonna get ready for bed I'm gonna maybe decorate some Halloween stuff even though it's too late really to do it today and I'm gonna try to bring you guys along tomorrow like I had planned to today so I'll see you in like five minutes in the morning maybe maybe later tonight depending on what happens if anything happens we'll see good morning so it's 5:27 right now just got out of the shower. I'm obviously not washing my hair today and I don't know how to style it that will be cute. But I'm having my coffee. Gabby's just here chilling with me. I put up a lot of my um, Halloween stuff last night and I spent too long doing it so I got like four hours of sleep. So I'm really tired but I have this really comfy blanket. It's spider webs because it's like Halloween themed too and it's so comfortable feeling and I can't wait to take a nap under it today. I feel like super congested today, which is weird because I haven't, but I do have Sudafed, I think, so I'm going to get going and then I'm probably going to take some of that.